Hey guys, I hope you've had great weeks and I hope you're excited for Songs with Mr. Levi. Let's do it. Good morning, Fellowship Kids. It's me, Mr. Levi. I'm so excited to see you guys on this amazing Sunday. We're going to do some worship together. We're going to do two songs. The first song we're going to do is called Zacchaeus. This song is so much fun. We've done this song before, and it's got hand motions. So we're going to, for those of you who don't remember and need a refresher, we're going to do those hand motions right now. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. So we, Zacchaeus was a very short man, very small man. So you either can do this or you can do this. Whatever you want to do. I like doing this, though. This is my favorite. We little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree. So he's climbing up the tree. This hit him grabbing the branches, climbing the tree. For the Lord he wanted to see. It's like, Jesus, where are you? He's looking for Jesus up in that tree. And as the Savior passed that way. So Jesus, here's a little Jesus, Jesus walking down the road, just walking down the road. He looked up in the tree, he's looking up at Zacchaeus, and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down, for I'm going to your house today, for I'm going to your house today. So Jesus is making his way to Zacchaeus' house, Zacchaeus' house, it was the roof of the house, just like that. Going to your house today. You guys think you can do that? I know you guys can do that. This song is so much fun. All right. Let's do it. Let's sing together, you guys. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. As the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree, and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down, for I'm going to your house today, for I'm going to your house today. Let's do that again, you guys. Come on. It's too fun. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree. And he said, Zacchaeus, you come down, for I'm going to your house today. Going to your house today. One more time, guys. Come on, that's too fun. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree. And he said, Zacchaeus, you come down, for I'm going to your house today. For I'm going to your house today. Good job, guys. Oh my goodness, I love that song so much. That song is so much fun. Not only is it a true story in the Bible, but it reminds us how amazing Jesus is. The story of Zacchaeus, as a lot of you guys know, Zacchaeus wasn't a very nice man. He took a lot of money from people. And not a lot of people like Zacchaeus because he is what we would call a tax collector. And back in the day, tax collectors would take money from people and sometimes they would take too much. And nobody really liked Zacchaeus, but Jesus saw Zacchaeus and said, Zacchaeus, I want to hang out with you today because I love you. And whenever Zacchaeus was spending time with Jesus, Zacchaeus said, Jesus, I want to do better and I'm going to give all of the money back and I'm going to give even more money back to all the people that I stole from. How amazing is that? Isn't that so cool? Jesus changed Zacchaeus' life just like he changes our lives. Isn't that amazing? Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, you guys. This next song we're going to do is called Good Good Father. This song is a beautiful song, just words, just normal worship, and so we're going to sing together this morning, all right? Oh, I've heard a thousand 
stories of what they think you're like But I've heard tender whisper of love in the dead of night And you tell me that you're pleased in that You're a good, good father It's who you are It's who you are It's who you are And I'm loved by you It's who I am It's who I am It's who I am, who I am. Oh, I've seen Many searching for answers Far and wide, but I know we're all searching for answers. Only you provide, cause you know just what we need before we say a word. You're a good, good father. It's who you are, and I'm loved by you. It's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am. It's who I am. Cause you're perfect in all of your ways. Perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect. That I, I can hardly speak He's so unexplainable That I, I can hardly think As you call me Deeper still as you call me Deeper still as you call me Deeper still as you call me You're a good, good father It's who you are It's who you are It's who you are And I'm loved by you It's who I am It's who I am It's who I am, who I am. Cause you're perfect in all of your ways Perfect in all of your ways Good, good father, it's who you are, it's who you are, it's who you are, and I'm loved by you, it's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am. you're a good, good father, it's who you are, it's who you are, it's who you are. I'm loved by you It's who I am 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 Good singing you guys Oh I love that song That song is wonderful That's true you guys God is a good Good father 
he is so good. It's because that's that's who he is. He doesn't have to try and be good. He doesn't have to pretend to be. He just is good. He is good. And not only is he good, but he loves us. Guys, that's what's so crazy. The creator of the universe, of the galaxies and the stars and the planets and the ocean and the land and all the birds and animals and our friends and our parents and our grandparents and our whole family and us, our brains, our hearts, our arms and legs, our ears, our eyes, everything, the creator of everything who holds everything together loves us. How amazing is that? That's crazy because we didn't do anything to deserve to be loved. We we didn't do anything. God just loves us so much because we're his. How amazing is that, guys? And he that's the song's right. He is perfect. He's perfect in all of his ways. We can trust the Lord because he is perfect and he loves us so much. How amazing is that, you guys? That's good news this morning. Oh my goodness. Thank you for singing with me this morning. I love you guys so much. I'm so proud of you guys for following Jesus. And I will see you guys very, very soon. I love you guys. Bye. On the day of Pentecost, Jesus' disciples were gathered together in Jerusalem. All of a sudden, a sound came from heaven. It was like a strong rushing wind and it filled the whole house where Jesus' disciples were staying. Then tongues appeared like flames of fire and they rested on each of the disciples. The disciples were filled with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit gave them the ability to speak in languages they didn't even know. Now, Jews were in Jerusalem who had come from every nation. They heard the disciples' voices in their own languages and they were amazed. How could the men from Galilee speak so many languages? Peter stood up and said, I'll tell you what's happening. He reminded the people of something the prophet Joel had said long ago. God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. I will show you wonders in the heavens above and signs on the earth below. Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Peter said, You saw the miracles, wonders, and signs God did through Jesus. Even though God planned for Jesus to die, you used lawless people to nail him to a cross and kill him. But death did not keep hold of Jesus. God raised Jesus from the dead. Then Peter said, You have seen the truth. Jesus is alive. He went up to heaven to be with God the Father. Do not doubt this. Peter continued, When you killed Jesus, you killed the Messiah. The Holy Spirit convinced the people that Peter was telling the truth. What must we do to be saved, they asked. Peter told the people to repent, to turn away from their sins and to turn to God. God will forgive your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Be baptized in the name of Jesus, he said. Everyone who believed Peter's message was baptized. That day, about 3,000 people joined Jesus' followers. They learned what Jesus' disciples taught, and they met with other believers every day. They broke bread together and prayed. God kept his promise to send the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit's help, Jesus' disciples could begin their work to share the gospel with the entire world. God gives the Holy Spirit to everyone who trusts in Jesus as Lord and Savior. I hope you enjoyed the lesson this week about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is such a wonderful gift that God sent us because not only does it help us to learn God's word, but the Spirit prays for us when we don't know how to pray It leads us in our day-to-day decisions, and it also produces the fruit of the Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit we get to have simply because God sent the Holy Spirit to be with us here on earth. 
Guys, I hope to, this week you are able to recognize a couple of the ways when you're kind to your brother or you respect your mom or when something tells you that's maybe not a good idea, that you're able to recognize the Holy Spirit and thank God for the gift that he gave us. Guys, I love you. I hope you have wonderful weeks and I'll see you soon.